are you gonna have? What is your name? <laughs> uh, Charles Harold Laredo Watson the sixth. Uh, I think it's June third, uh, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, thirty-five, turning thirty-six. Uh, I've been in Los Angeles. I'm not sure what specific area. I believe it's a Redondo Beach, though. Oh, wow. Um, I would have to say the first thing would be the birth of my daughter. So that was August 13th, 2009. Uh, to not work as hard and to take some more time for myself and my family. <laughs> um, it, right in front of this camera right now doing the same questions. But on top of that, it would be still in eSports. Uh, my family would have been, uh, have grown. Um, like to have more friends. Because, um, you know, when you, when you get older, you, you, you pare down on your friends. You only have a couple that you really truly call friends. So I'd say I'd, I'd, I'd want to expand on that inner circle. Uh, biggest inspiration so far in my life, uh, even though it's for so far a period of my life, I'd say the biggest inspiration is my daughter. She is, you know, my best friend. Um, and, you know, someone that gets me out of bed in the morning um, and then motivates me to, to work hard and also is the person that says go to sleep too at the end of the day. So yeah, it would definitely be my daughter. All right, who do I want to meet? Um, if it's dead, I would want to meet probably JFK. So my daughter is named Kennedy. I was a big JFK fan. Uh, if it's alive, I would say... Whew, uh, probably Gary V. Um, I'm digging Gary V and what he's doing right now. Uh, greatest thing about my family is that no matter how good or fucking bad the day is, it's, you know, a hug and a conversation or just having them around me is, you know, you, you can't, you know, everything else is just things. So, you know, you, you can't replace people. Those are, that's the best thing about them is that they're, they're always there and my biggest support systems. Uh, those who do not appreciate the past can't anticipate the future. So, you know, it's a lot of cliches and so if you're, you know, a lot of people say don't look back or, you know, even Oasis, don't look back in anger or anything like that. But, you know, there's always, you know, not ghosts, but things that stay with you. So, and some of those are our fears, but a lot of those fears can be turned into motivators as well. All the time, all the time. Uh, <laughs> pretty good under the current situ situation with all the bright lights and all the grueling questions. Uh, Business-wise, no. Personally-wise, no. World, yes. Uh, the copious amount of people that work with me and, and the company and my family and, you know, everybody from Title to Lazarus to, you know, just everybody. It's, it's, uh, it's not just one person. It's so many people, so... You know, it adds a lot of, you know, you carry a lot on your weight, you know, and on your back with that. And it's, uh, I think that's good pressure. Um, so yeah, that's probably the best way that I can answer that question. Uh, wow, that's a great question. Um, aggressive, funny, charismatic, um, loyal to a T. Oh, there's so many things. I, don't, I think hate is a strong word. It's more dislike. Um, you know, you're, you're born with what you are given. 
One thing I would want to change about myself is that, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to continue to improve on your IQ. So I, uh, I'm more street smart. I, I, I wish I was more book smart. So that would be something that I would, I would definitely want to uh, improve upon. Oh, uh, I would say probably last Wednesday. Uh, about 30 minutes ago before we started this interview. I love esports. That's why I got into it a decade ago. Um, I always saw it as a business, but before that it was, so for like baby boomers, it was like radio and TV, <clears throat> you know, for the generation kind of coming up, it was movies. My generation, it was, was esports. That was, uh, it was an escape from reality. It was escape from parents fighting. It was escape from depression or anxiety or you know all those buzzwords that you hear nowadays and you know uh, gaming is was a release when I first got into it I love my current team I think we've assembled you know a great plethora of individuals that are you know personality driven character driven um, but have a tremendous amount of skill um, and then equally, like, haven't even tapped into their full side of potential. So very, very excited about my team. Yes. Because I love what I do. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. So I think a lot of people play it safe, you know, and work that nine to five desk job and grind out. And, you know, I think there's this massive box that just everybody lives in and you know every father before their father you know my father could have done the same thing that my grandfather did and every father every Charlie within our family was very successful in what they did and they could have just followed in their you know their father's footsteps and you know had money and been successful or you know quote unquote successful and um, been set up for life and every single Charlie didn't do what the prior Charlie did um, and every Charlie you know kind of followed their heart and just you know did what they wanted to do and uh, you know I could have done three or four or five of the family company businesses and chose not to and you know just wanted to carve out you know what I wanted to do and who I am and and uh, that was gaming and esports. Um, I think it's always about the pursuit of happiness. Um, so that's, that's something that I've always, you know, really ingrained into my daughter and, you know, it's kind of, you know, you, you wish you could, you know, practice what you preach a little bit. So I think it's, you know, you're always trying to find everybody's definition of success is different. So, um, you know, mine's not money, it's not fame, it's not, you know, clout or any of that bullshit. It's, um, you know, I think if you can go to sleep and put your head on, your, uh, on the pillow at night and fall asleep, um, I think, you know, you're, you know, you had a good day and, you know, you're happy and successful and you, have your, you surround yourself with good people. I'm big into sushi right now, I'd say sushi. Uh, pink Lazarus right now. I don't know if I would like just narrow it down to a country. Like that's such a grand scale. Um, I definitely want to go back to Scotland. I want to go to Hawaii, Paris. Um, yeah, that's those are just some of the key areas that I want to go to and take my family to. Um, but like just being Canadian. <clears throat> There's so many spots, like it's crazy, you know, just how much beautiful stuff is in Canada that you don't get to fully discover or explore. So, oh shit, I'm, I'm a huge movie buff. You know, you look back at Saving Private Ryan, Interstellar, you know, there, there's Lucky Number Slevin, like I could rifle off 30 movies that you know, I, I think there's uh, movies and cultural entertainment 
I get a lot of inspiration from that. So I think that that changes, kind of like music changes for me. Um, can really just feed into what I'm doing at that particular time, whether it's business or, or pleasure or personal. I think there's, you know, there's certain ones that I watch that will kind of give me inspiration on what I'm doing or feed into what I'm, I'm working on next. Charles Harold Laredo Watson the sixth. Okay. In your mind right now, are you? I'm not saying anything. In your brain, I'd like to question. Just, just, like yeah, just the way it is. Okay. Okay. There's monitors on wax.